Hey guys, my name is Luthias and today I'm going to be showing you how to get 100% radiation resistance and then I'm going to show you a few tricks and you know, a few tricks as well. Now, the reason I think this is important is because it's giving us a lot of freedom and a lot of different choices and especially for players who don't want to get into hectic pvp situations constantly which they will if they focus on the police station and the checkpoints um military base is not that dangerous these days but yes you know if you're focusing on the high loot um places like orca dam as well you're probably going to get into a lot of pvp situations and you know, the chances of you dying and losing all your stuff is high. Now, what you will need to get 100% radiation is a gas mask and a gas canister pack. Now, as you can see with an airdrop, we've got the mask. And we've got the gas canister pack and the hazmat suit. Now this is a, let's say a radiation drop or a scientist drop with um, potassium and anti-rads, you know, and food and guns. It's a really, really nice drop. I mean, you're getting a DDMK18, um, you know, which you can use to um, repair a reaver with. You know, or shoot long distance with an, with an ACOG. And you've got the AMP, which is great for close quarters combat. Okay. Um, the big thing is you don't need to use the hazmat suit. Because you want to repair the gas canister pack and the gas mask to 100%. Now, the first thing I did was use the gas mask. You know, the normal gas mask that you get. get. That also um, turns into a repair kit that can repair um, the gas canister equipment. But I'm going to use the hazmat suit as well to turn that into a repair kit. Got a close shave there with a the bear. And uh, yes, the places where you get the, uh, where you get, you know, hazmat gear and hazmat mask and the gas canister pack is of course at checkpoints you can you can get it anywhere at the dam or whatever but the best opportunities for you which will take risk is the airdrops which has quite a high percentage of dropping them and then the hospital okay the hospital is a phenomenal place to go for this kind of gear yes you can get some gear in the radiation zones as well but i mean we try to get into the radiation zone safely okay without taking radiation so the airdrops and the hospital are the two points that i feel you should focus on with the least amount of danger yes you will encounter shit at the hospital but it's not as bad you know as going to the checkpoints or the police station or Orchid Dam, I feel those those places are a bit more dangerous. Okay, and the airdrops are very dangerous, but of course you can play when the server's quiet. Okay, and I mean there's not a lot of servers that are very populated at the moment, so of course you can play on a lower pop server okay which gives you the opportunity to go for these drops or not have everyone on the server rushing for it um so yes as you can see the mask is repaired which i did with a suit because i don't have the suit on anymore and i used the gas mask to repair the radiation mask okay the hazmat mask sorry as you can see there, it's 33% radiation gas resistance. Not gas resistance, radiation gas. And the, the canister pack gives you 67% gas radiation resistance. Okay, so gas resistance is 
normal gas like sleeping gas you know um, or nerve gas you know normal gases in the world um, but the gas radiation is the radiation zones okay so now you can see we're running in the radiation zone and we're not picking up any radiation at all don't ask me what happened here I still don't know looks like my bullets are going straight through you can say it's the bullet drop I don't know and yes at the end of our trip still no radiation and we're lucky enough to get a ghillie suit which in my opinion is the ultimate combination um, because you can't wear the, the hoodie with um, with a headlamp on okay so you you go if you get the hoodie you're gonna have to change between the the headlamp and the ghillie again okay, the hoodie I love the headlamp because it just makes everything so much easier for me you know I don't need anything and when you when you encounter a spider in the Sultan radiation zone or in the in the north radiation zone which is going to happen a lot always use cover I didn't do it here right from the start but look what I'm going to do here at the end okay right here you can use the objects to get cover okay and wait for him to scream because when he screams or shows you he's angry he's standing still and that's the perfect opportunity for you to kill him so yes um the headlamp is very important for me because first of all i've got complete freedom in in radiation zones you know and um, getting light Yes, I can use my weapon, but I mean the headlamp's always there. I can change between weapons. I can do whatever I want. I don't have to care about the light. And then if you encounter, I'm going after the drop again. If you encounter a lot of stuff, I mean, I've got a dog, I've got wolves. With wolves, always kill one of them. Now, I don't really think they ran away here. I feel they built aggro up quickly again. But normally killing... You don't have to kill the leader. Killing the leader is a good idea. But killing one of them is going to give you a gap. And I mean, I got one bite here. Or maybe one hit from the mutant. I'm not sure. But normally when I kill one wolf, I can run and be sure I can make it. And of course, being aware of their radius is also a big factor. So yes, guys, um, being able to loot the two radiation zones and having a major advantage. I mean, if you want to kill people, stay in the radiation zone, okay? You can stay there forever. Um, not that I promote camping, but all I'm saying is you can loot the places at your time. Whereas with the medication, you, 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 you feel rushed. I mean, it's difficult to finish the Sultan um, radiation zone, you know, within five minutes. And it's almost impossible to finish the North radiation zone um, in five minutes. Okay, so you constantly have to use those tablets. Where with this, you've got complete freedom. And you can still wear a helmet, okay? And you can still wear a flak vest, and you can still be protected. But having a ghillie suit, with this equipment is the best way for me because if I'm in the radiation zone and I see someone coming in I want that I want that camouflage okay and I've, I've already got a big advantage because I can stay in there very long yeah you can see in the radiation storm I took potassium for extra protection to get me up to 138 percent but I still picked up radiation which was a bit weird to me but that tells you you know the radiation storms do more damage Unfortunately, I looked for a drop too long, so I was on the other side of the map. But when you think you're going to run, you know, too far, and it's going to take you a lot of time to get back, and you might be on a low populated server so that you can go look for a vehicle, having a tent is quite a good idea. You don't have to have this big ass tent that I have, 
but just having a tent in your inventory that you can I mean just having a tent you, you know is is great but you can go place the tent and to get those vehicle parts because those vehicle parts are so heavy okay so use it for a temporary storage and then in dangerous places like Hayward if you don't need to attract mutants don't okay I know it's easy to kill them but use stealth you know get better at the game use different um, avenues of playing um, if you don't sneak a lot you won't find out a lot of small details like uh, behind these bushes a mutant can still detect you but he has to be much closer to you than normal and even if you're directly in the viewing cone if there's anything blocking you like you knew that with walls but how many times have you used the car or a solid bush you know or small objects or a tree how many times have you walked around a tree for a bear not to detect you okay or a, or a mutant or a brute so use sneaking when you can and when it you know will help you to loot freely because if you get detected and a brute runs up to you you have to move out of that zone secondly if you shoot then players can detect you you know and that shortens your lifespan a lot and then if you're lucky enough okay even on a populated server people can destroy vehicles <laughs> I don't know which service because the orders are keeping everything but you, know, you can get lucky with a vehicle and then again just use the stealth build up the vehicle slowly but surely and then you can go back to the tent and get all your stuff back okay so the tent is a good is a good idea as well if you don't find a police vehicle okay with that, as I'm playing on UK3, I don't find any vehicles. Okay, bud, then go find a jet ski, okay? Haywood is next to a river. Go find the jet ski at the dock. Go find the the quads, okay, that are in um, Haywood Valley. So you can still build up a quad, and you can still build up uh, the jet ski. Now yeah, we've got a police vehicle, we're going to get our shit. Yes, I can use the vehicle's inventory, but remember the only reason I transported my loot is to get the vehicle parts. So once you've built up the quad or the jet ski, you know, there's no need for that space anymore. So you can just get the loot back that you had. And you're not supposed to have extra loot because you basically went for the vehicle okay you went for the vehicle so you can get back to your base without running for 10 or 15 minutes i don't mind running for 10 or 15 minutes but i mean this is more interesting you know this is more interesting to do than running back to base for 15 minutes so there's a lot of ways of doing things and the hazmat gear gives you that freedom okay so there we are guys looking cool you know nothing stopping us the whole map is now open to us there isn't zones which we can't really enter we can run off to the plane or drive off to the plane without worrying about radiation and we can use you know wasteland because we just love the shit out of the sound of it okay so if you guys enjoy this video press the like button if you're not subscribed yet subscribe and tick the bell button and yes if you guys have any ideas please leave it in the comments down below boys cheers have fun